if you were walking down the Las Vegas Strip a few weeks ago, you might have caught a glimpse of Elvis, as you've never seen him before. No, despite the rumours, the real Elvis hasn't been moonlighting on the Vegas Strip all this time. This is Eric, a pilot who's demonstrating the first flying vehicle of its kind ever to be flown at CES. So this is the RISE Recon. In technical terms, it's an ultralight EV toll, but to you and me, it's essentially a giant piloted electric drone. Now, it's obviously only flying a few feet off the ground behind me, but it is licensed by the FAA to fly up to 700 feet. And remarkably, it doesn't even require a pilot's license. It's an ultralight vehicle, and therefore you don't need a pilot license. In uncontrolled airspace, in the United States, you're welcome to fly the vehicle without having a pilot license. The computers are keeping everything stable and you're essentially guiding it, so it's like a magic carpet ride. The company says it takes just 15 minutes to teach a novice how to use the controls. But really, they say it takes up to two to three hours to learn all the relevant aviation rules. Still pretty quick in the grand scheme of things. The vehicle is controlled and monitored via an interface which basically looks like a tablet. 700 feet still seems pretty high for a non-pilot to fly independently, but the vehicle has built-in safety features to try and make sure flights are fail-safe. The idea is that each of the motors operates independent of the other. If something goes wrong in one, it does not affect the other. And the idea there is if something happens, the computer knows it and says you need to land now. So you just pull back on the stick and it'll safely land you from the vehicle. The company is taking reservations for its aircraft and is planning to deliver 100 units this year. With a price tag of 150,000 US dollars, it's still pretty inaccessible for most consumers. The target market, though, is a group of professionals you wouldn't normally expect to see in the air. Farmers. If it's early in your season and your crops are wet, you can't drive into the field. But this can fly over land if you have some sort of a blight or a fungus. You can get there, you can repair it without stomping down a lot of soil. Or maybe it's the dry season and your crops are as high as your shoulder. You can't walk through them, it's too tight. But this can fly over and it's sized perfectly to land in an irrigation patch. The vehicle isn't designed to fly in built-up metropolitan areas. In fact, they had to get special permission from nearby Harry Reid International Airport just to carry out these flights at 20 feet. So a future where aircraft like these are commonplace still seems quite far off. But it might just be a step towards a reality where flight is accessible to everyone.